Today we're going to be doing a quick unboxing of the Phenom 2 X6 1100T. So this is a multi-core processor, as you may or may not have figured out by now. It is also a Phenom 2, as you may or may not have figured out by now. This is a black edition processor, which means that you have full control over the CPU multiplier. Now that's actually, uh, it, it even means a little bit it means something a little bit different than it even used to because it used to be the black edition meant you had one multiplier to uh, either turn up or turn down according to your will so it meant okay well you don't have to fuss around with uh, with adjusting the the uh, the ratio of the actual bus speed itself you can just turn up the multi there's your overclock turn up the voltage you're done well now, with the turbo processor, so that is uh, all of the six cores from AMD right now that have a T at the end of the part number, have a feature that allows them to scale up the frequency when you're running three cores or less. So this processor, although it says 3.3 gigahertz, and that's your stock multiplier, also runs at 3.7 gigahertz when you're running with three active processing threads or less. So you can not only adjust the stock multiplier, but you can also adjust the turbo multiplier. So you can make it so, okay, let's say you've decided, you know, oh, I want, uh, you know what, I'm gonna leave my stock speed when I'm running like heavily multi-threaded stuff at 3.3 gigahertz so that I don't get more power consumption or so, whatever your reasoning is. But I'm gonna turn my turbo up to four gigahertz so that when I'm running games, for example, which only use a few processor cores, I can really get the most out of my CPU. So that's a cool feature. All right, here's the processor itself. This is an AM3 processor, which means it fits in an AM3 socket, as well as an AM2 Plus socket, and it is fully compatible with DDR3 as well as DDR2 memory. So AMD is the only processor, mainstream processor company these days, that is actually still producing chips that are compatible with DDR2 on the high end. This is a six core processor that you can actually plunk into your old DDR2 board with your DDR2 RAM as long as your board supports it. We also get a case badge sticker. We get a little uh, warranty certificate of authenticity installation guide thing. It folds out to about the size of like a wall poster, so I'm not going to open it right now. And then we also have an included stock heatsink. So their stock heatsink hasn't changed much since the days of socket 939. We've got what appears to be a 60 millimeter fan. It is manufactured by AVC. It uses a four pin PWM fan header. And here's a little tip for you guys. If you want it to look tidier in your case, twist it up like this. That way, instead of being like a total mess when you plug it into your, uh, into your fan header and like looking like this, you can actually have it just all sort of come together like that. And then you can plug it in somewhere and then kind of twist it up like that so it's sort of more uniform. Anyway, it has four heat pipes. Two of them go one way, two of them go the other way. You've got a pre-applied thermal pad and the thermal pad that comes on uh, stock uh, heat sinks from actually both major CPU companies these days are pretty darn good so you don't really need to replace it unless you really want to and your standard AMD mounting mechanism. Thank you for checking out my unboxing of the Phenom 2 X6 1100T. Also don't forget to check out my build guide featuring this processor in AMD's best of the best machine which happens to be sitting over in that room right now. You can sort of see it anyway. Check it out on my NCIXCOM channel as well as my, uh, my vision system overview where I show some benchmarks from this particular processor against its competition. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips and thank you for watching.